Hello students, <laughs> Growing Together by Carmen Agra Didi. Some days I still get homesick for Cuba with its warm sea breezes and its mango trees. I live in Georgia now, far from the sea. There is winter here, when the days are short and cold. There is only one tree in my yard, a magnolia tree. It has no fruit, but it does bear flowers. It is no ordinary tree. It has a story. When my family came to this small town in Georgia, it was a big change from our tropical island. In time, though, I started to like my new home. Soon, I learned enough English to make a best friend, an American friend. One day, we had a silly fight over a bike, and my friend called me an ugly name. I remember that Saturday as if it were today. My face is hot and red. I drop the bike in the driveway and run to find my father. I see him in the garden under the big magnolia. He is digging in the red Georgia clay. He stands up as I run to him. I cry angry tears. A moment like this comes for every immigrant child. It is hard to leave a home you know. It is even harder to make another place home. Everything is new. Everything is strange. Everything is different. I tell Poppy how I feel. I hate it here. I am not like them, and they are not like me, I say to him. Poppy pulls out a handkerchief and hands it to me. My father, the gardener, looks at me intently for a few moments. Then he asks, Carmita, do you remember our mango tree in Cuba? Yes, I sniff. I am curious now. Do you know what it means to graft a tree? I nod. You take a branch from one tree and attach it to another tree. The branch and the tree grow together, right? See, si, that is right, Poppy says. My father tells me that I am like a branch from that Cuban mango tree. He says Georgia is like the magnolia tree. I must wait. Eventually, the mango and magnolia will grow together. I lean over and smell a sweet magnolia flower from the tree in our yard. I smile. I will wait. I am a tree that gives forth both mangoes and magnolias. I am an American. <laughs>